Hey guys, welcome back. Well, I figured I'd take a minute and uh, do a video on my new hunting quad. So here it is. It's uh, 2022 Honda Rubicon 520. And we got, I put uh, 28 inch Mega Mayhems on it. And I'm honestly, I'm liking the tires, but uh, I probably should have went with 27s, to be honest. So, <clears throat> they're working really good right now, but I think in auto it uh, struggles to shift from 4th to 5th. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how long the uh, wet clutch lasts. Anyways, a couple, couple other things I put on here. As you guys can see, you can see the light here. Uh, Evergear is the brand. Um, it's super bright, man. Like, I, it's hard to do it justice in the daytime. Um, I have to turn it on. I could turn it on. I don't know if you guys will notice in the camera. Um, so I wired it in. Wired it into right to the light switch. Okay, right to the high beams. So the high beams, this bulb only comes on when you uh, select high beams. So it's pretty freaking bright. Like, I don't know if the camera picks that up, but it is like, it's a game changer. I'm really glad that I put it on there. It was on sale for 30 bucks. So it's a really good, uh, good addition. Um, something else here, the winch. I don't know how you would, uh, Get around without one. Use them all the time. You got to pull branches out of the way. Um, you know, stuff like that. Get out, get stuck, obviously. I'm going to turn these lights off. Anyways, so that is a Kimpex 2500 with the steel cable. I don't know if you guys can see, but. Uh, yeah, I mounted that up myself. You gotta buy the mounting plate right from Honda. So, I think uh, Canadian, it was, I don't know, 238 bucks with the whole kit and the plate. If you shop around, you're probably not gonna beat that. I mean, and if you do, you're probably getting a really cheap type of winch or a, or a smaller rated, right? Uh, I got this box, you can get the easier Canadian tire. Um, I don't know, I think they sell for about 200 bucks brand new, something like that. Um, it's freaking awesome, I'm glad I, I bought it. So, a couple interesting things here I'm going to share with you guys. Um, so yeah, you see the, the, uh, chainsaw in there, um, and the bungees, okay. Well... Basically what I did is where the U-bolts are installed right there I mounted the corner sections of, of these uh, This milk crate Kind of did a bit of a cutout and that way you can bungee it in there. So this isn't flopping around in here And it helps keep stuff organized. I got uh, Got an extra sling in here for wrapping around the tree Got a dry box, SD cards, and uh, stuff in there for trail cameras. Handsaw, oh man, for 10 bucks at Princess Auto, buy one. Don't even think about it, guys. It is super handy. When you don't want to freaking rip out the, the gas saw, you can just, you can get a lot done with that little guy. Uh, jug of uh, motorcycle oil for the quad. Make sure it's wet clutch compatible. I did the same thing on this side with the jerry can. It's not mounted solid. I could probably put another U-bolt underneath it, but it's uh there you can kind of see two jug uh, spots of silicone. Siliconed over the, the heads of the bolts so nothing gets punctured in here. Got an air inflator kit. Uh, they were on sale at Can Tire. Everything at Can Tire, boys. Uh, yeah, this is like, I don't know what it was, 12 bucks or something? I know that's going to come in handy. I 100% guarantee you that. Uh, some tools. 
Let's take a quick look here, guys. Give you some ideas of what you guys think you might need. Okay. This this bag here, this Dewalt bag, I got a pair of those at uh, Canadian Tire again for like, I think it was 14 bucks. Got some cable pulleys here for, I don't know, winching something up in the tree. If you got want, you want to skin an animal, stuff like that. Vice grips, man. These are so useful. A hundred different uses for those, right? You don't have the right size wrench? There you go. You don't have a hammer? There you go. Uh, shackle for hooking up, you know, extra stuff. Uh, a spare knife. You all probably forgot one in your backpack back at camp. And then just some basic tools, guys. Screwdrivers. Uh, scrunch for the chainsaw. You got a 10 mil, some extra bolts, some allens. And different different heads stuff like that air gauge uh oh extra wire in a pinch you can boost your buddy's yamaha <laughs> yeah i'm just kidding guys yeah but yeah i should point this out one of the main reasons i really like the the yamaha right here guys the canadian versions you can start it really easy like i mean the bikes well i'll have the key on um like watch how easy this is one pull guys one pull so yeah so that's interesting uh here i'll throw this stuff back and hold on here uh what else do i have in there oh i had some rags just share that with you guys. Got some rags in there and spare winch rope. This was expensive. $84. I'm sure I could have got it cheaper online, whatever. But it's super light. And if I'm, you know, just a few feet short, this is going to help. I could use this in a pinch just for extra length. Or if my cable snaps, I can, you know, pull it out, redo it. Um... This box in the front. This is where the rifles goes, boys. I I built this out of some 3/8 plywood. Uh, it was super easy to make. You just need a you know a piano hinge, um, and uh, some suitcase latches. You can get all this stuff at any hardware store. So uh, painted up um, with some good quality paint and. The trick is, you want to make this so that it's not really wide there, guys. Because you got to wiggle through the trees. It gets tricky with a really big box. So, oh, it's kind of stuck. The paint is still kind of sticky here. So, barely fits my rifle. That's exactly what I wanted. So, if you guys can see here. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I could update the phone a little bit so it's... Uh, more compressed in there um, and this is just give you guys this is just zip tied on okay in a bunch of strategic spots so the trick is zip tie a whole bunch of spots on there and leave a handful of zip ties in there that way if you do smack a tree and you snap all the zip ties you can uh, put your box on real quick after right then you're not not in a pinch plus it actually I think if you use U-bolts, you could break your box, right? Because that's permanent. Um, yeah, so I got the the little 22 here. It's just a youth Savage 22. Um, it's kind of difficult to shoot. You know, I'm a grown man. I'm five foot 11, 200 pounds. It's hard to shoot, but it is super handy to pack. That's why I bring it. So this is for the grouse. Uh, we got upland uh, upland birds here open the same time as rifle elk So that's what I use and then the, this rifle here. That's the uh, Weatherby weather mark mark 5 chambered in the 7 mil Weatherby got some videos on that uh, Oh heated grips boys Heated grips. It's nice and warm right now probably 20 above uh, Celsius right now We're in Saskatchewan, so it's really nice right now, but it gets cold in the early mornings or in the evenings. So below freezing and stuff like that this time of year. Plus, late season, moose hunting, stuff like that. 
Um, you're gonna want heated grips, especially when it's uh, you're flying down the roads. I also got a windshield for this thing. I don't have it mounted. They are a pain in the butt in uh, in those trails with tree branches and stuff. So uh, yeah. Oh, one other thing here. I'm gonna share with you guys before I go here. This baby. All right. So this doesn't come with the quad. Okay. This piece here does. This you can buy at Princess Auto, 15 bucks. This this seven inch piece receiver here. So we removed it and welded it on really nicely here. And I've yanked some stuff around with it. Uh, you know, it's it's an extra. It's added to do it. It's totally worth it though, guys, because otherwise, if you look right here, that's where the ball would sit. And then when you go to back up, you're gonna jackknife your quad really quickly, right? Um, it makes it a pain in the butt when you're on the trails and stuff. So with the receiver, you got your ball, say, out here somewhere, right? So it helps a lot. Um, so, yeah. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I don't have very many kilometers on it. What are we at here? It's low on fuel. I know that. 170 kilometers on it. So I just did the oil change. Uh, yeah, just did the oil change. So it would be the first initial break-in oil change. I'll have a video uploaded um, on that if you guys want to check that out. Um, but yeah, so this is it. This is what I'm going to be toting around in the bush. Um, you'll be seeing lots of it. You'll be seeing lots of it on my uh, channel. Thanks for tuning in, guys. See you soon.